Uh, hi all, welcome to the Urpi Academy. Today topic is Unix or SQL L1 or L2 or L3 production support life cycle. And as well as we are going to discuss the general questions on L1 or L2 or L3 production support. Okay, let me show you the life cycle and how the issues is going to resolved and which bucket it is going to resolve and uh, if it is not resolved in the particular bucket how that particular issue is going to transit to the next table what action we have to take particularly let me start okay and uh, think that we have the one application and uh, the all the users or the end users will be using that for example think that the we have the application issues and they are facing the issues and customer might raise the issue via Jira ticket or email or the Slack channel, whichever it is prepared in your particular organization. Think that here we have got the one Jira ticket and the issue is the password reset issue. And during that time, now the issue came, Jira ticket came and uh, L1 production support, the issue is there here. And now what the L1 has to do here, uh, they have to check whether they can do this or not. How they are going to check is, okay, I'll come to the decision making here. I will come to the decision making here. See here, able to resolve the customer issues. If yes means they have to work. If no means they have to pass the ticket to the next level. Okay, I will <coughs> I will take an example up now the yes. Okay, yes means what they have to do. Password reset means follow the run book. Run book means as of now we are maintaining the run book in the confluence and I am going to show you that confluence also. And oh, we'll follow that steps, how to uh, uh, like the reset that password. Uh, it might be like the login, oh, we have to go to the particular URL application and uh, we have to uh, give the uh, username and we we'll try to reset that. That steps, it will be there. Okay, we need to follow that. We'll try, uh, we'll resolve that issues. Okay, think that it resolved and they have to operate update into that particular ticket. Okay, customer is as been password reset mail has been sent to you and please uh, check this. It is working fine or not. Once they will uh, say, okay, it is working fine. Then they have to uh, close this ticket until that the it has to be in uh, like the resolved state only. Okay, don't close until the customer confirmation. Okay, think that the password reset, even the, they have followed the run book password reset issue only I am talking and uh, followed the run book, but still they are not able to resolve the issues means what they have to do. No, here no means ticket has to be passed to the next level. Who is the next level? L2 support. Why it will go to the L2 support? L2 have the more access and more control on the application than the L1 side. That is the reason we are unable to resolve the ticket at L1, then we are passing to the next level because we, at any case, please don't keep, if you don't know the answer or anything, if you are not sure about that and try to escalate that, always don't keep the issues in your bucket. If the escalation comes means, and you are the responsible person to answer that. Please don't do that. And the particular period of the time, please try to check in your colleague or the next member over in your team. For example, five members, four members in your team, check with their colleagues. Okay, this is the issue I am facing. What exactly I have to do, please suggest. And if they are also unsure about that and go for the L2 escalation and Needless to say that you have to provide the all the attachment and uh, issues and user ID, all the things. 
you have to provide in the ticket okay and now issue in which bucket l2 support bucket okay and what they have to do they have to they have to replicate that issue they have to replicate that issue uh, like the they have to check in the database or oh, they have to check user is locked or not okay and uh, think that think that uh, sometimes uh, user is locked that is the reason we are unable to reset the password issues okay and uh, we have checked in the logs also and we found that okay the user has been locked and that is the reason the l1 is not or the customer has not able to reset this password okay so i am talking about yes okay uh, i have, we have to take the decision here we have to take the decision if yes means i am working on the resolution of that uh, password reset issue and uh, what i have done is i have um, uh, or lock I have removed and uh, I am able to resolve that issues. Oh, I have resolved that issues. I have commented and take a ticket. Okay, it has been uh, released from the lock. There was a lock had happened due to the multiple attempt of the reset issues. So uh, uh, either you can uh, do the reset or you can ask the L1 team to try for the reset. Okay, or customer can try also. It is a depends upon how the process you guys will be following. Okay, and the customer is the result. You updated the ticket and you can update to the uh, L1 team saying that, okay, this has been done and could you please check with the customer it is working fine or not. Okay, and once they will confirm, okay, it is working fine for the uh, this particular ticket, please close means we can go ahead and close this ticket at the L2 end. Okay, what if the l2 member uh they didn't find any clue any clue or anything the customer is in uh, like the issue is not resolved i am into talking about the no cases i am unable to resolve as a l2 person i am unable to resolve what i have to do i as i said i shouldn't keep that ticket into my bucket so I need to check my colleagues and other other database, uh, like the other complaint spaces, everything I need to check if it is unable to resolve. For example, uh, like the lock has not happened, everything looks fine, still you are unable to get it. Uh, it is giving the some error, um, unable to reset and uh, uh, like the spy hundred error or some other server error, something it is showing in the logs means during that time I need to go to the l3 team and escalate this okay and me meaningless to say that we need to provide the l2 analysis l2 analysis is the must okay analysis l2 analysis you should provide okay yeah l2 analysis will be providing in the ticket and so that now who has to work on that particular ticket so the L3 team, it is the L3 team responsibility. And uh, once you push that ticket to the L3 team and L3 team will check and uh, they will check like the who is the user and uh, what is the issue is facing and they will check that. Okay, when uh, you, you also keep in the mind, whenever the bug fix or anything L2 cannot be done at their scope, then only you will be passing the to the L3. Now, this password reset issue, I am talking about the password reset issue. And this password reset issue, it has been not resolved by L1 and it is not resolved by L2 and it can be resolved by L3. That is the reason it came from here. It came from here to here, from here to here it came. Okay, so we are into the ticket has been life cycle. See from here to here, here to here. We are the issue is in here. Issue is standing in the L3. Now, L3 team has checked that particular ticket and okay, they found that something is causing the issues to reset that password. Uh, like the some character issues, some other issues, some bug bugs is needed means what they will do. If it is a two emergency, it is happening for the all the organization or the business impacting, then what they are going to do is uh, they are going to do the hot picks. Other than that, they will be fixing this issue in the upcoming release. 
release might be the change request or the some uh, weekly release monthly release it is a depends upon the organization how the sprint will be there okay so they'll be taking up they'll be resolving the issues and and once they will resolve the issues and they have to provide the rca what went wrong and how they are going to overcome in the next level these are the things we need to follow in the l2 production support okay and if there are the any anything needed anything like the customer information needed means l3 team is going to um, comment on that ticket asking the few details and l1 team has to get the information and l3 team is working and they are going to resolve the ticket this is how the we need to resolve i have given the one example and other examples also i am going to give in the upcoming videos and <coughs> let us move on to the a general questions here okay let us move on to the general question how the general questions will be like one minute how we can uh, use the general question here Okay, what are the general questions? General questions are, who will be interacting with the customers? L1 or L2 or the L3 team? As I said, whenever the issue is coming, in which bucket it will be? In L1 bucket it will be. So who is going to first point of contact is L1. Okay, and L2 is not going to interact with the customer. Okay, so L L2 is going to interact with the in between L1 and L3. Okay. For example, uh, yeah, as per I have given the example of the password reset. Na? That time, uh, as you can see there, I have not interacted with the customer. L1 or L2 or uh, L3 are inter interacting there. Okay. So just uh, whatever the information I am unable to resolve, I have passed to the L3 team. So L L1 or L3 team is going to interact with the customer ultimately. And sometimes it is a depends upon the organization. They want, they have merged like the L1 or the L2 to be interacting with the customer means it is a depends upon the organization also. We can't ignore the those conditions also. Okay. Let us uh, move on to the next questions it is a very very important questions many uh engineers many peoples uh they are into the non it and they are afraid to come to the l2 support uh they think that uh okay l2 might be needed the coding and uh, how if they ask us to write the code how how they might ask us to, to debug uh, uh, like the uh, fix that hot picks all those things okay let me answer this question okay is the l2 support team has to do the any coding no it is a non-coding job we are not coding anything but we have to write the sql queries we, we need to write the cell script and some deployment activity we need to do apart from that we are not fixing the code and will not be having the code access that code base access will be having the l3 team okay and i'll be moving on to the next interesting questions and if we are not doing the l2 as a l2 we are not coding means who is going to fix application or the software bugs okay obviously someone should be fixing the bugs now then only our application has to be run 20 bar bar 7 right so that will come into the l3 team super uh they are ultimate persons they are going to do the l3 l3 team. l3 team is going to fix the our bug or the any hot fix all the things will be taken care by them and next important questions can i switch from non-it to it and how okay so you can you can yes answer is for this question is yes you can switch and how means please refer my youtube channel for more guidelines i have made the one uh, roadmap for the l2 or the l1 production support how we can transition from non it to it please do check on this and if you have the any questions regarding to the switching from non it to the it please do comment on this uh, video I will get get back to you with your answers. Okay. And I am going to the next question here. Can I 
transition from L1 support to the L2 support or L2 support to the L3 support. Okay. And yes, answer is for this question is also yes. For this to do the transition from L1 support to the L2 support, you need to learn a few things. As I have confirmed here, you should be how the more knowledge you should have the more technical knowledge then only it is possible in case of transition from l2 l2 support to the l3 support in uh, to transition from l2 to the l3 it require the coding knowledge so you need to do that coding and you need to practice a lot you need to work on the microservice project nowadays microservice project is zooming and we should be having the knowledge of all the things and that also we are as of now, my course is from non-IT to the IT and L1 support to the L2 support directly. L2 support is going on. I am making the other course how we have to transition from L2 support to the L3 support with what and all uh, like the content, what and all you need to learn before getting into the L3 support because as a L2 support, you will be having the experience like three or four years experience, then you are trying for the L3 support. If you are three experience, you are putting into the switching the domain. Domain means you are transition from L2 to the L3 means should have the domain knowledge. Uh, what are the things is required? You need to learn that to learn that you have to put your effort. So that is the reason I am. We are making the course for it and it is going to come in the maybe end of the January or the first week, uh, maybe in the February, it is going to come L3 production support, Java production support. It is going to come. Please do watch my uh, YouTube channel. Okay. And coming to the another question, control M or autosis tool is required for the L2 role. Answer to this question. If it is a banking domain project, then it is required. Obviously, it is required. Okay, lot of the job scheduling, lot of the monitoring has to do. All, all the things has to be in the banking domain project. Otherwise, control tab is enough to handle the uh, scheduling job. So as of now, we are doing the con uh, cron tab things. You can manage in the interviews also. Thanks for watching this video. And... Please do like and subscribe and comment on this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment on this video. Thank you.